an understanding of how uh, in a functioning economy and nation had to be put together. And a lot of that, he wanted it based on the uh, principles he observed in the West. Uh, could you speak a little yes. more to that? Uh, one of the things that's interesting, where's my lecture? Oh, there it is. Uh, in the uh, thing, what he does say in terms of economic development in the early period is he accepts private capital. He said we need bankers, we need industrialists, so he's free market oriented. Uh, he, the problem is we don't have the culture of being entrepreneurial. We need to develop that. And he holds a Congress, and I'm not sure. The problem is you never know where all these ideas come from, but I think a great leader is not the one who has all the ideas, but he has the talent around him. And when he needs things done, he will reach out. He understood the importance of economic development. That's why he held the Congress in Izmir, and they made a number of decisions that would drive economic development in Turkey uh, after the war, after the treaty. And then the big kicker comes in is the Great Depression, and the Great Depression forces all governments, including FDR, to get more government involved. That's when he moves to statism, or, or the Devletirik to get the government, the state to get involved in creating capital because we're having a lot of economic problems. So there's some change to it. But yeah, he understood the economic development was critical. In some ways, sometimes you, if you don't put him, his phrases in a larger context, you know, you get excited. You're sending a message, and sometimes when you read it, it's like almost all economics. We can't do anything without economics. We can't do anything without improving ourselves economically. But you got to put it in a larger context. There are other things that have to happen. But he was certainly was clearly aware that one of the big problems Turkey had was capitulations, the economic penetration that undermined the country from within, and economic strength had to be an essential part. So he's very pragmatic. He's practical. But a pragmatic person without any values is, is, is difficult to see, right? So I'm saying he's got these ideas, his principles, of the, you know, the three, the triad, that are help driving him, but he's very pragmatic. And when things are not working, he's not going to be like, um, was it Hoover? Who kept thinking, if we just, this is just a phase, if we just keep the economy a little rebound, and you need FDR to come in and say, hey, man, I heard a guy named Keynes. Maybe we should do something with the government. Maybe the government should start creating some jobs. And guess what? The polls, I think, were 80% favorable for um, civilian construction corps. Which put 2 million plus people to work, and the government was creating jobs. So the flexibility didn't come from Hoover. It came from FDR, right? Whereas Abitur was able to say, well, we need to do something. And, 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 the, and some new banks were coming in, and he's reaching out to the farmers more as this crisis is unfolding. But uh, Paris Logan, who was his economic advisor, and I was very Leninist in his thinking, and the state economic enterprises and the regional development uh, enterprises were, I don't know, I don't know about the early history, I know the later history. <laughs> yeah, my impression was that the statism and that stuff comes more, it's like the five-year plan yeah. comes in like in 1933, isn't that that's Soviet influence? Right. And realizing that, you know, I tell my students, you gotta realize, the only thing that gets us out of the depression is war. Because our, our unemployment spikes to 17% on the eve of war. So we're not solving the problem, right? Whereas in the Soviet Union with the centralized planning, you're having economic development. People are working and industrial production is growing and increasing. So it, 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 but he clearly understood that communism would not work. Yeah, no, I'm not.